Welcome back to Al's Kitchen. Welcome back to Al's Kitchen. This week something again really special. It's my base gravy too. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Al and predominantly what I do is teach you how to make Indian restaurant style curries at home. You know the curries that you have on a Friday and Saturday night, your madras, your boonas, your vindaloos, your doppiazas, your kormas, your jalfrezes, your baltis. Yeah, yeah, all of those. Anyway, so I teach you how to cook those in a similar style to how they make in Indian restaurants. And what you will notice if you've been following me, the principal or fundamental ingredient is the base gravy. Now around three or four years ago, I introduced my initial base gravy, which I like to refer to as my all round basic base. This time we're gonna take it up a notch, a base gravy that has greater depth, more flavors, tiny little layers in there. So without further ado, let's check out all those important ingredients that you'll need for your base. So these are all the ingredients you'll need to make your base gravy. Here I have one kilo of peeled white onions. I've halved them, you can slice them how you like. Remember that we're gonna boil them anyway and they're gonna basically dissolve. In this recipe, I'm using a five litre stock pot. Here I've sliced half a red bell pepper, one chopped green finger chili, half a sliced carrot. Here we have 60 ml of vegetable oil. You'll notice that my base gravies contain probably the least amount of oil in any base gravy recipe you'll find on YouTube. And one tin of plum tomatoes, get good quality tomatoes. Here we'll be using 50 grams of coconut block. Do weigh this, too much of this, and your base gravy will be too coconutty. Here we'll be using 125 grams of sweetened condensed milk. Now you can use evaporated milk if you want the base gravy less sweet, but this just adds a touch of sweetness that complements the sweetness of the onions. So we're going for condensed. And here in equal portions, we have 50 grams of garlic and 50 grams of ginger. Just peel them and sling them in, no need to blend them up into a paste. Like we said with the onions, they're going to melt into the gravy anyway two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of tomato puree, two teaspoons of coriander powder, and two teaspoons of cumin powder. Here we have two teaspoons of paprika, and for additional flavor and depth, two teaspoons of tandoori masala powder. We'll be adding one teaspoon of salt. Over here we have 100 grams of white cabbage. Again, just slice it up. I'm also adding half a small potato. This will add a bit of starch to the gravy and give the gravy some nice body. Don't worry about peeling the skins off. And for added body and depth to the gravy, we're gonna be using a handful of red lentils. You can use the red lentil hull or the split red lentil. Um, if you want to measure it, use around 40 grams. We're just gonna cover the contents of the saucepan with water. Um, it's hard to measure this one out, depends on the dimensions of your saucepan, but you just wanna add enough water just to literally touch the top of the onions. We'll be adding 30 grams of fresh coriander. Try and get the stems in there as well. Most of the flavor is in the stems. You can also add one or two teaspoons of butter ghee. This will add a, a slight richness to the gravy and give you that authentic flavor that you get in Indian restaurants. So everyone, we've come to the exciting part, getting this base gravy cooking. So we've got our onions in the pot, throw in the carrots, throw in the red pepper, our garlic and our ginger, that's it, throw it all in there. We've got our cabbage, we have our potato, we have our coriander, our tomato purees going in there, our, our green chili, red lentils, throw them all in there, the tin of tomatoes. And we're gonna cover all this with water. Remember, bring the water just to the top of the onions. They'll all melt into the water anyway. And we're gonna thin the gravy out later. Now throw in the oil and all those lovely aromatic spices. Go on, just put them all in there. And I'll add one tablespoon or two teaspoons of butter ghee. Not forgetting the all important coconut block. Oh, and not forgetting the 125 grams of condensed milk. Now bring this up to the boil on a low simmer. This is gonna be cooking initially for one hour, but while that's cooking, there's another ingredient to a pair. Oh, did I mention acne stock? 
Yeah, that's right, acne stock. It's basically seasoned water or spiced water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring to the boil 700 ml of water. And we're gonna be throwing these whole spices in. So we have three bay leaves, seven green cardamoms, we have four cloves, two teaspoons of small black mustard seeds, two teaspoons of fennel seeds, two teaspoons of whole coriander seeds, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, um, half a star anise can be overpowering so not too much of that and a small piece of cinnamon bark once your saucepan of water has been brought to a boil just throw all these whole spices in to make a lovely flavoursome stock that's going to be poured into your base gravy to again give you more layers more depth Once the stock's been boiling for 15 minutes, pour the whole contents into your base gravy and carry on cooking for the first hour. So this is the fun part, blitzing the hell out of this base. So you want to blitz it until it's ultra smooth and there are no lumps or grain left in the base. So the gravy's been cooking for an hour and it's been blitzed. Now we want to adjust the consistency so it's ready to use. So what you want to do is you fill the pot up until you get a, a milk-like consistency. We're not there yet so I'm going to add some water from the tap and keep simmering for the final hour so that is two hours in total. Now this looks perfect with just enough content of ingredient and enough thinning water. This will make perfect curries every time and all that's left to do is carry on cooking for the remaining time. So this is the finished base gravy. So what are you waiting for? Get your aprons on, get your frying pans out and your ladles and start cooking these amazing, tasty, beautiful British Indian style curries. I'm out, I'm out of it. If you like these videos and want to see more, please like, subscribe and share with all your friends and family. Thank you.